Welcome back. Our next guest is acclaimed for a film he created that mixes cinema with poetry based on a 19-year span of his grandfather's life. I'd like to welcome George Aguilar now to the show. Thank you for being here, George, Thanks. and for coming down from San Francisco That's to true. be here with us. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thanks. Tell me about your film, Diary of Nicholas Geller. Nicholas Geller is your grandfather. Yeah, uh, last name is Geiler. Geiler, I'm sorry. Uh, Geiler. Actually, I pronounce it Geiler. Some people say Geller. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not really sure. It's just uh, a name. It's my mother's maiden name. It's a name I've seen um, on, on documents. So I don't know actually how it's how it's pronounced. But um, it's a story based on my grandfather uh, on my mother's side, and who came, who left Germany to come to Peru uh, in the mid 1930s. And uh, it's a story I've heard um, when I was a child that. Um, about him, and it was just sort of these rumors about who he was, and um, he ran a furniture show, uh, furniture shop in in Lima, Peru, and but it was really a mystery because he died when my mother was really young, mm -hmm. so she didn't have a lot of information about him. So, um, about five years ago, I got into genealogy and DNA studies very much, and first I did a DNA study with my father and learned something that I didn't know, which was that he was Native American ancestry. So. Um, that was really fascinating to me to learn that and so I wondered well who else in my family you know what else can I learn about myself and my ancestry so um, I looked a little bit more into uh, my mother's side and, and it brought back the story of this grandfather which really intrigued me so right. I made this film let's take a look at a clip right now of diary of Nicholas Geller It's such a beautiful film and a genre that I've never seen before. And it amazes me to know that you didn't even use one camera to put this together. That's right. Tell me about this different kind of cinematography. That's a good example of a mashup. Uh, a cinematic mashup is uh, very much like a musical mashup where you're taking uh, parts of, of different songs and putting it together to create a brand new song. Mm -hmm. What I did uh, in that clip showed is I basically used five uh, or six different um, pieces of footage and photography uh, and even video game footage to be able to tell the story. So uh, this is all material I found on the internet. Uh, even the game footage was just a demo of, uh, of uh, a World War I demo. and so. Uh, the running through the trenches is a machinima that I shot and then uh, used some special effects in order to blend in with the rest of the footage. So uh, so a mashup is, is like making um, a special kind of stew uh, where you're putting in some kind of ingredients in together and you're sort of just mixing it together to hopefully come up with something that is really uh, tasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is something that you learned partially in school here at UCSD, right? Yeah, well it wasn't called mashup back then but um, when I was at UCSD in the media production department, uh, what was unique about it was that you could learn uh, video techniques as well as film techniques and photography. Uh, you weren't asked to be focused on, say, just like filmmaking or video and things like that. So um, I'd have a photography class, and then a couple of hours later it was a film class, and next late, next couple of hours it was uh, an experimental video class. So um, I remember just enjoying the fact that you can communicate. Uh, different stories in different ways with these different mediums, and that always stuck with me. And I and I, I remember coming out of that program thinking, well, what if you you know wanted to tell a story where you use these different mediums in order to effectively communicate the way you wanted to, rather than just sticking to one way of telling the story. And so, even the the methods in this film uh, are mashups in terms of it's 
um, it uses documentary elements as well as narrative elements and experimental video elements right. as well as machinima. Just fascinating, amazing job, George. Thank you so much Thanks. for being here. Thank and you. again, the San Diego Jewish Film Festival is from February 7th through the 17th. Thanks so much for joining us for Shades of San Diego, and we'll see you next time. Furniture provided by Underground Furniture in Pacific Beach. Undergroundfurniture.com Stay with Channel 4 San Diego for more exciting, unique local programming. Channel 4 San Diego.